What's most problematic about the information that's been leaked? I mean, it's got U.S. training information, equipment schedules to support Ukraine, losses on the battlefield on both sides. What concerns you most about some of the specifics here? Well, it concerns me most because now Russia and the general staff, uh, their general staff and their commanders in the field uh, could perhaps take uh, for a very strong cue uh, where these uh, holes in the lines, vulnerabilities, composition of forces, uh, reduced capabilities in air defenses and so forth uh, that could then uh, alter their strategy. Uh, they really haven't had a, a coherent strategy to date, but this could bolster their efforts to uh, to try to you know continue that onslaught. By the way, what's going happening? The war is still grinding on. This is you. I've talked to this months ago. This is a war of attrition. And uh, this classified leak of, of documents could be, you know, very helpful uh, for for Russian forces on, on the ground. Uh, they still lack uh, capabilities. They still lack effectiveness and leadership and so forth. But it does give them an edge that they didn't have a couple weeks or so ago. And President Zelensky and his generals are going to have to counter that and try to regroup, if you will, and perhaps uh, adjust their strategy on how they want to conduct the next offensive. Well, the other thing that stood out to me, one of the pieces of information that was leaked indicates that the U.S. doubts Ukraine's counteroffensive will yield any big gains. So how does that impact momentum once that message is received by the troops on the front lines? Well, it could. You know, there would be, certainly be effects uh, for the morale of the Ukrainian forces and so forth. However, I don't think it's going to be much of a hit on their morale because, again, they're defending their home turf. Uh, they have been extraordinary in battle. Uh, they have uh, faced the Russian army and have steered them down effectively. But uh, again, this doesn't help. Now, General Milley, in testimony recently, even several weeks or so ago, said that it was a very hard hill to climb, pardon the pun, but in terms of the uh, Ukrainian forces being able to take all of uh, their territory back since 2014, when Russia originally invaded Crimea and the eastern part of, of Ukraine. But nonetheless, it does, to some degree, validate uh, the concerns that Milley and Secretary of Defense Austin and the president even had behind closed doors. Uh, but again, this is going to compel Ukraine to have to regroup. And also, frankly, as embarrassing as this leak is, the United States is going to have to now regroup in terms of, of being able to make sure that our allies can trust us with classified information, as well as you know follow through on, on providing capabilities that are so needed now uh, by Ukraine. Yeah, there are a lot of layers to this, undoubtedly. So Secretary Austin reaching out to allies, doing damage control, essentially reviewing who has access to some of these briefings where this information was provided. How difficult will it be to find the source? I mean, very difficult. And right now, John Kirby said yesterday uh, at the White House briefing room that we don't really know who the source is. We don't really understand the scope, Marnie, or the scale of the leaked documents of what it's had on national security. So there's there's broader implications here, not just in Ukraine, Russia and the war, but also in terms of, of China and the Mideast, even in Iran. And so the tentacles of this leak are extraordinary. Again, not necessarily just in military circles, but intelligence circles. My final point here is what really troubles me the greatest, and I'm sure with Secretary Austin and General Milley and even up to the president, hopefully, that this puts American lives at greater risk, not only our men and women in uniform, but those who are serving in the intelligence community, because now supposedly uh, through these documents, our methods and sources are now uh, put out there for all the world to see. That is extraordinarily damaging, and uh, again, that's my greatest concern. And at, at least some of these documents to our knowledge, have been doctored, showing that Russian troop deaths were down from what they actually are. So at this point, can we rule out Russian involvement in the leak? We can. We can't rule anything out. Uh, we don't know if this is just, you know, kind of a local player. We don't know if this is something that has come from inside uh, in the United States, you know, maybe inside our national security structure. We don't know if it's, if it's Russia. We don't know what parts of this could be what we call an information operations campaign. And oh, by the way, as John Kirby said, uh, nobody has come forward with this, uh, you know, in terms of a re revelation, in terms of who did this, but why and to what degree. And also, uh, as as John Kirby said, there could be other leaks. We uh, should not be surprised if we see other leaks uh, somehow uh, in the public square. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.